What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and happy 2019. Woo! We have made it. We have made it through 2018. It was a great year for me. I hope it was a great year for you. And with every year, you're gonna wanna ditch those bad habits and bring on some new habits. You know, new year, new me. You know what I'm talking about? So in today's video, we are going to talk about five travel habits that you need to ditch in 2019. So I know so many of you, including myself, follow some amazing Instagram accounts and you see these beautiful, beautiful locations and it looks so magical and you just want to go there because all of these beautiful pictures that you've seen. However, one habit that we all need to ditch is to not book a trip based off of Instagram and popularity of it. Some places can be totally overrated and we don't even know it. And also, it can be totally over our budget. Why do we have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to go to this all-inclusive resort in the middle of the ocean with tiki huts and everything like that if it's something that we don't normally do and it's really something that we don't want to do but we want to put it on Instagram. Don't do something because everybody else is doing it. This goes back all the way to high school. Don't do something that everybody else is doing. Do something that you want to do. If you actually really do truly want to go and spend a ton of money to do something or You've always wanted to go somewhere that everybody seems to be going right now, then totally do it. However, don't do it because you feel like you have to because it's the popular thing to do. Go somewhere you truly want to go. Go somewhere that is on your bucket list. And also, don't feel like you have to do these travel trends. Like, you don't have to travel alone if you don't feel comfortable traveling alone. You don't have to do um, a Bali yoga retreat if you're not into yoga, but everybody else is doing it. Do things for you, don't follow a trend unless you truly want to do it. Just be you. Bad habit number two, living through your phone or the lens the entire trip. Now, you guys know I, t I vlog and I take pictures on every trip I go and that's because I want to share this stuff with you and make memories. But I am not constantly going like this and taking all these pictures and filming every single second of my life. You want to know what I really, really do? I take in the moment first, then I take a few pictures, and I mean a few pictures, and then I take it in all over again. It takes a few seconds to take a picture or to do a little vlog real quick, and then you put the camera down, put the phone down, and take in the moment. Enjoy the company that you're with because you don't want to look back and realize that you were looking through your phone, taking pictures the entire time, when they're probably just gonna sit in your phone for ever. Like how many times do you go back and look through your phone at all these pictures? Do you do it every day? No. But what you can do is live in the moment, be present, take it in. Of course, take those pictures, take those videos that you want, but just know your limit. Have a good balance between the two of them and then you're definitely not missing out. Number three is having high expectations of the trip that you're going to go on or thinking that it's going to be life changing. Yes. Some places you go, it can totally turn out that way, but also some places may be overrated, turn out to be overrated and you just don't like it that much. Or you're expecting that you're gonna go somewhere and you're gonna come back this totally changed person. Most of the time that's not the case. Yes, you can learn a lot about a culture through a trip and you can grow in some instances, but don't expect that. Don't set these high expectations. Go with the flow and take the culture in and enjoy every moment without any expectation that it's going to change your life or that you're going to become this new person. The world is beautiful and just take it in for what it's worth. So doing things out of the ordinary may surprise you. If you don't like museums, don't do them. If you don't like eating at fancy restaurants, don't do them. This go, you know, you, you're not gonna be missing out on something if it's something that you don't really enjoy. However, I do still suggest that you try one thing that you normally wouldn't do. Maybe going on a walking tour or something that you've never done. Give it a try. I did that and now I love them and I always want to do them and I never thought that I would like a walking tour and I love them. So yeah, that's just a little extra tip. Don't have too high of expectations with things and if you don't like doing certain things to begin with like museums or eating at fancy restaurants, don't do it. However, giving it a shot at least once, doing something that you normally don't do when traveling, do it at least once and you may like it. And then your expectations may be met after all. Bad habit number four is over planning or under planning before you go on a trip. 
Now what I like to do is make a loose itinerary. So it's a little bit of the best of both worlds. I do my research with blogs and I watch blogs of every place that we're we want to go and I find the best restaurants, all the sites that we need to see, all the things that we want to do, and I make an organized list of everything. And then when we get there, we just go with the flow. Okay, I'm feeling sushi, let's go to the sushi place. Today, I wanna go to the spa, let's do that. You know, if you are organized and you know what is already out there with every city that you go to and which places to uh, eat at, which foods to eat, and it it's all in an organized list, then you're good to go. And don't feel like you have to follow that entire itinerary. This goes with over planning. You don't have to do everything in one day and you don't even have to see everything while you're there. Today I will show you guys how I plan my trips because it's been working for me. Having this list of things that I know piques my husband and I's interest and that way it's all organized and I can just look at it and pick something that we wanna do or someplace that we wanna eat and go there. Um, it's not a strict itinerary and it's fit for me. So I suggest doing that and not over planning, not under planning, somewhere in the middle. Tip number five is don't travel to escape your life. This is a little deep. Yeah, I went there. You can't travel to get away from your problems or to get away from something because when you come back home, you're back home, you're back where you are and Traveling isn't gonna fix what may be happening on the inside and mentally. Yes, everyone needs a vacation to recharge and that definitely works. But if your problems go a little bit deeper than that, your problems are still going to be there once your vacation is over. If you don't take the time to sort your problems out instead of pushing them to the back burner and escaping them and going on a trip. Not everyone finds themselves when they go on a trip. Not everyone does. You can definitely grow and life lessons can come along from traveling, but that can happen with day-to-day -day life as well. Just address your feelings first and go from there. Just do not run away from your problems thinking travel is going to, to cure all of it because it's not the healthy thing to do and it's definitely not the solution. I care about all of you guys and I want you all to care about your mental health and deal with that first and do not run away from your problems thinking that a trip or a gorgeous trip of a lifetime is going to get rid of it. So those are the five bad travel habits that we all need to ditch this year in 2019. Let me know if you're gonna join me in ditching all of those habits. If you guys can think of any other habits that we all need to ditch, please comment them down below. I would love to chat with you and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, please consider subscribing because I post videos every single week and a lot of content like this with travel and food and tips and tricks just for you guys. So until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.